Hello my dear students today in this class we are going to discuss all the important mcqs from the chapter ranga's marriage as you all know cbsc has changed its uh, examination pattern therefore the students need to more on mcqs compared to subjective questions so in this class you all have to be attentive because we will be discussing all the important questions which will be asked from this particular chapter okay so let's begin with question number 1 and we will discuss options minutely so be ready children question number 1 who is the writer of the story option a marga minko option b william saroyan option c masti venkatesha ayengar option d none of the above so here the writer of the story ranga's marriage is masti venkatesha ayengar which is in option c therefore you have to tick out here while choosing correct answer let's move to question number 2 Okay before that let me discuss Marga Minko is incorrect because Marga Minko is the writer of the chapter the address William Saroyan is the writer of the chapter the summer of a beautiful white horse okay Question number 2 what is the name of the narrator's village option A Mysore option B Armenia option C Hosahali and option D Syria So here option C that is Hosahali is correct. See Mysore is not correct because we are talking about village. Okay and Mysore is a city. Okay. Option sorry question number 3. Why there is no mention of Hosahali village in map? Option A it could generate no money for the government. option b sahibs in england didn't mention about it option d it is ignored by the cartographer option d all of the above so here your answer would be option d all of the above because it was true that hosahali was not able to generate money for the government and sahibs in england indian writers in england didn't mention about this particular place in their writings and cartographers the map makers ignored this place because it was very small and it was insignificant because of lack of generation of money okay so option d is correct all of the above let's move to next question and that is what is karigadabu option a it is a sweet dish option b it is leaf of plant option d none of the sorry name of the narrator and option d creeper so here option a is correct that is sweet dish karigadabu is a sweet dish which is famous in hosahali and mysore as well question number 5 who is gunda bhatta who is gunda bhatta and your options are option a a resident of hosahali option b a doctor option c an acquaintance of the narrator and option d all of the above so your answer is option d that is all of the above it is because he was a resident of hosahali he was a doctor by profession and he was a known person of the narrator therefore option d is your answer let's move to next question Next question is What are the similarities between the narrator and Gunda Bhatta Your options are option A both hated english way of life option B both abhorred english language abhor means to hate okay option C both were close to their soil and option d all of the above so here again option d is correct because both of them 
hated English culture and English language as well because it created a lot of confusion while communicating. Option C is both of them that is Gunda Bhatta and narrator were close to their soil. That is correct. They believed in Indianness. They believed in valuing their own soil and that makes option D as your correct answer. Let's move to next set of questions. Okay, next question is explain running around like a flea pasted dog. What does this line mean? Your options are option A possessed about something, option B passing time, option C loving dogs excessively, option D none of the above. So here your right answer is option A that is possessed about something, running madly after something, okay, to become maniac for something. So option A is correct. Let's move to next question and the question is why does the narrator, why does the author talk excessively about Hosahali? So your options are option A, he is close to his soil, option B, he hates other places, Option C, Hosahali has Ranga and Ratna. Option D, none of the above. So your right answer is option A. That is, he is close to his soil. That is why he talks high about his place, that is Hosahali. It's not related to Ranga or Ratna or he hates other places. It's not like that. He loves his own soil own place of birth that is why he talks excessively about this place so option a is your right answer next question is 10 years ago people didn't find dash speaking people okay i have missed out one word please add that option a kannad language option b tamil option c english and option d hindi so 10 years ago people didn't find english speaking people okay so option c is correct that is english speaking because after 10 years the scenario in hosahali had changed maximum people knew how to speak in english so before 10 years it was not so 10 years ago the scenario was different people hardly knew english and which created lots of confusion when they communicated so your option C is right answer. Dash was a priceless commodity. Option A, Hindi language. Option B, Hosahali language. Option C, English language. And option D, Kannad language. So here it is English language which was considered to be priceless but commodity. Commodity, when we hear this word, we don't find any emotional connection to it. Okay, it is just valued because it is earning bread and butter for somebody. Okay, but our mother tongue is not a commodity. It is something which is close to our heart. Alright, so here English language, even though it is valued by many, it is priceless of course, but it is a commodity. That means, however we speak in English in a fluent manner, but... It won't generate that emotion while speaking with our own fellow mates. Okay. So here your correct answer is English language was a priceless commodity. Let's move to the last question. Where did Ranga go for the studies? Option A. Bangalore. Option B. Kolkata. Option C. Mysore city. And option D. Hosahali. So here option A is correct. That is Bangalore. Let's move to next question. Next question is, what is the black hole tragedy? Option A, volcanic eruption. Option B, hole in the wall which destroyed the palace. Option C, killing of crowd by putting them in a jail. Option D, none of the above. So here it is option C which is correct. But how far it is genuine, we don't know. 
but uh, according to the text this is the correct answer black hole tragedy it is related with uh, bengal history where sirajuddaula had inserted a lot of people who had gone against his orders he had put them in jail and it is said that they died because of suffocation okay so it is option c that is correct answer option sorry next question is janewara janewara means a sacred white thread worn specially by brahmins option b funeral ceremony option c a sweet dish option d none of the above so here option a is correct that is janewara it is a white thread which is worn specially by brahmins and this shows that the person is vegetarian okay so whoever had gone to bangalore when they had changed their eating pattern they used to remove janewara so ranga had this janewara with him even after getting education in bangalore which is mentioned in the text as sacred white thread which is called janewara okay let's move to the next question why did the old lady touch the chest of ranga option a to find the burn mark option b to check if he was real ranga option c to ascertain he has not lost his caste and option d none of the above so here option c is correct that is to ascertain he has not lost his caste even after being in bangalore for so many months next question same hands legs eyes and nose means option a of same color option b no physical change option c of same parent option d none of the above so here option b is correct it means there is no physical change he had same hands same legs same eyes and nose which he had earlier in a funny way this comparison has been made so your answer is option b let's move to next question rangappa was a dash boy option a generous option b respectful option c educated and option d all of the above so option d is correct that is all of the above he was generous okay generous means who wants to uh, give others things okay who is not self centered respectful he had respect for elders and he was educated of course in bangalore so all these three options are correct therefore d is your answer let's move to the next page what was the question that was asked to ranga by the narrator option a how was your stay in bangalore option b when do you plan to get married option c how was his mother and option d none of the above so the prominent question was related to marriage which is linked with the title also therefore option b is correct when do you plan to get married next question who is sakuntala option a heroine of the story ranga's marriage option b heroine of kalidasa's play option c writer of the story and option d none of the above so here she is none other than heroine of kalidasa's play sakuntala is the heroine of kalidasa's play sakuntala the name of the play is sakuntala next question who is the writer of this story option a masti venkatesh ayengar option b marga minko option c william saroyan and option d none of the above i guess this question has been repeated but still option a is your answer masti venkatesh Ayengar is the writer of this story. Next question: Why did Ranga decide not to get married? Option A: Marriage will create trouble. Option B: The girl might misunderstand him. Option C: 
didn't want to marry early option d all of the above so yes option d is correct all the three reasons are crucial because ranga had decided not to get married because he thought that it will create trouble it will create misunderstanding and he thinks that it is too early to get married at that age next question what was the vow of the narrator option a have ranga married option b provide job to ranga option c open a school in the in hosahali option d none of the above none of the above so here your answer is option a that is have ranga married according to the narrator he is the right person educated understandable respectful caring who could be a very good husband that is why he had vowed he had promised to himself to have him married very soon next question who was ratna option a wife of ranga option b rama rao's niece and option c resident of hosahali last one option d is all of the above so answer d is correct that is all of the above she was wife of ranga she was niece of rama rao and she was a resident of hosahali village therefore all the options are correct ratna knew how to play dash and dash so here in this blank places what will fit option a football and hockey option b kho kho and basketball option c veena and harmonium option d all of the above so here option c is correct that is veena and harmonium ratna knew how to play veena and harmonium next question it was dash when ratna was called by the narrator option a saturday option b friday option c sunday and option d holiday so here it is friday on this day ranga and ratna both were called to narrator's house up uh, question next question where was the first meeting of ranga and ratna organized option a at rama rao's house option b at the narrator's house option c in the temple and option d in the park so here option b is correct and that is the narrator's house at the narrator's house next question how do we know that ranga had fallen in love with ratna option a he became sad finding her married option b attracted by her voice and beauty option c he didn't move from the chair to go out option d all of the above so here all a b c are the answer therefore we will tick on option d all of the above he was very sad when he heard that ratna was a married girl because he had already been enchanted by the voice of the girl not only that he wanted to see more of ratna that is why he didn't move, move from the chair okay let's move to the next question who was sastri option a father of ranga option b village astrologer option c fa- a friend of Rat- ranga option d uncle of ratna so here option b is correct that is astrologer he was a village astrologer next question what is the name of the narrator option a ratna option b ranga option c rama and option d shyama so here it is shyama which is the narrator's name next question is how was sastri able to predict the state of ranga here by state it means a state of mind okay option a he was pre-tutored option b he was an expert astrologer option c he had magical power 
option D none of the above so option A is correct that is he was pre tutored uh, see children you might be confused uh, with option B also but according to the story you have to write the answer okay we we don't find any instances where he shows that he is an expert astrologer okay in the story we will just learn that he was tutored by the narrator so you have to stick to this answer he might be a good astrologer but we didn't find any instances in the story so we are not going to use that okay let's move to the next question what was the job of Ranga's father option a he was a banker option b he was an uh, he was a businessman option c he was a clerk and option d none of the above so option c is correct that is he was a clerk ranga was a clerk's son next question why did the narrator lie about ratna's marital status option a to generate curiosity in ranga towards ratna option b he was a habitual liar option c because ratna was a married girl option d none of the above so here option a is correct that is to generate curiosity in ranga towards ratna because according to the narrator the thing which is unachievable the thing which is unachievable carries more attention next question paraphernalia means option a a process to read the birth chart option b a large number of things or equipments option c name of a person and option d none of the above so here option b is correct that is a large number of things or equipments and uh, this was related to astrology okay when the sastri started reading his birth chart he took out equipments equipments were palmyra book then cowries okay cowries in english it's called shells and then okay. so all those things are included here in paraphernalia okay let's move to the next question what do you understand by hari katha option a stories of lord vishnu option b stories of osa ali farmers option c green revolution and option d none of the above so here the right answer is option a stories of lord vishnu hari katha next question why was sastri angry at the narrator option a he was criticized by shama option b the narrator asked him to asked him so many questions option c he didn't get money from the narrator option d all of the above so option a is correct that is he was being criticized by the narrator that is why he became very angry he said that he can find out the present state of ranga by his own powers of astrology he does not require any tutoring from the narrator okay second last question is the odd situation that the readers notice in the story is option a child marriage option b people using english words in their conversation option c villager getting english education option d all of the above so here option a is correct that is child marriage child marriage is something which is odd in the story because when somebody gets educated that particular person or society should get rid of child marriage but here contrast thing was happening ranga after getting education also he preferred to get married with a girl who was just of 11 years so here we find child marriage okay let's move to the last question what was the name of the child of ranga and ratna option a shyama option b ramarao option c rangappa and option d none of the above 
so here of course the writer's name is Shama and the child's name is also Shama it is because Ranga had some influence of western culture in western culture if people love somebody then their name is given to their kids okay so the same thing happened here as well that Ranga loved Shama because Shama was the person who played crucial role in making a match of Ranga and Ratna okay so here he loved the narrator that is why his name is given to his son that is Shyama okay so here we end the questions or MCQs we will meet with another video on next chapters question so till then we meet revise all these things for your examination and keep preparing thank you everyone we will meet again till then take care and bye bye